Hi everybody, this is a really quick video to show you how to take through Design Space this new SVG to cut a little presentation box for the budget pint glasses that you can buy from Morrison's and Asda. They are virtually identical, they're about half a millimetre out in height and about a millimetre out at the very base, but this box works for them both, makes a nice box for both of them. Uh, it's a dead simple box, it just cuts in three pieces, well four pieces, but it cuts from three sheets of A4. You get the front and the side on one sheet, the, the back and the side on another, and then the lid and the little insert that goes in the bottom to just hold the glass in place, that cuts on the same sheet as the lid. So it's super easy to assemble, just two seams to join and then a simple locking bottom. Right, so we'll go to Design Space and bring it in, show you quickly how to take it through. There it is. So as usual, the first thing to do with any um, multi-part SVG that's got score lines, you've got to convert those lines that come in as scores, which we actually, come in as cuts, pardon me, which we actually want to be scores. And in my SVGs, they're always stored together in that first subgroup in your layers panel. So you just click on the name of that subgroup. It's always always the second line down in your layers panel go to your operations menu click where it says basic cut and choose score from the drop down i'm on the desktop version for pc if you're on the mobile app things will look a bit different but the commands you're looking for are exactly the same then all we need oh what sorry while they're still selected because there's more than one set of them we need to ungroup them and for me ungroup is at the top of the layers panel just there then we need to select the group underneath that contains all the cuts, the cut pieces and the cuts within them, like that circle and that window cut out. All we need to do here is ungroup. And the third step is to select everything on screen. And because it's still in that overall group that SVGs come in, in we can just click on the name of it and ungroup once more. So now everything on screen is a separate piece and we can join the uh, we can attach the score lines to the pieces that they relate to. You've got to do it piece by piece because if you attach the whole thing, you'll get a message telling you that the project is not compatible with your machine and you can't cut it. And that's only because you've created something which is too big. So the quickest way, I think, to select one piece and its scores is to click on screen somewhere near it, drag a box to more or less enclose it. You don't need to go around the whole thing and attach. And you need to do that. For each piece, each individual piece on screen that's got scores. So this is the back and the side. This obviously with that window cut out is the front and the side. This is a little insert that the glass sits in, in the bottom of the box. And this piece here, oops a daisy, what did I do then? There it is. This piece here is the lid. So we'll just attach that one as well. So if we click make it. You can see that we can choose A4, everything's small enough to cut from A4 and you need one A4 for the back and side section, another one for the front and side section and then the insert and the lid are both cut from one sheet. So it's a nice economical box. These are cheap glasses, are 50, 60 pence each I think at the supermarket. You can make a box really cheaply as well to go with them but just make your personalised glasses look uh, just a little bit more professional, I think, in a lovely box like this. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to cut it, so I'll just press cancel. If you have any issues at all when you come to cut or assemble it, you do get a PDF of the assembly instructions, by the way, as part of your download with lots of photographs. Um, don't hesitate to get in touch. I'm always happy to help. The way to get in touch uh, is linked in the description below. And if you've just stumbled across this video and you'd like to buy the SVG, there's a link to do that as well in the description below. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.